<laughs> there you go. <laughs> Welcome to this edition of Just One Watch, G Money's coconut edition, mm -hmm. covering his noggin. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at the Nevada Grenchen chronograph. Let's check it out. Welcome back to this hobby of ours. Just one watch edition. Still on set, on location, middle of nowhere desert, G Money, Los Angeles. What is going on, G? Middle of nowhere, Los Angeles. Middle of nowhere. So, wanted to do a couple just one watch episodes out here uh, with a certain number of key pieces that could potentially suffice as a just one watch. And I think that this chronograph, of any of the chronographs that I think I've considered for this. This is probably one of the better ones because it has a bunch of other criteria that fit. It didn't score, warning, uh, it didn't score as high as it perhaps ought to have been as a watch being considered for this sort of thing, but we're jumping into it anyways. Mm -hmm. So, reminder, Mr. G Money, yep. we look at four criteria, mm -hmm. timeless design, mm -hmm sportiness which is generally how well it would hold up if you're wearing it and you get pushed into a pool by a yahoo dressiness mm -hmm. and lastly how satisfied you would be with it to the point of not needing to buy additional watches so if you're only going to have one watch it kind of needs to tick those boxes in some way shape or form if it's going to hold up yeah all right going first the honor is yours sir oh. how timeless is this design Five at best. Five. I also went five. It's 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 very untimeless. <laughs> it's <laughs> here's the thing. This What's is the opposite of timeless. I don't know. Dated? Temporary. Um, yeah. I love the design of it. It's not. Right? I'm not saying it isn't great. It's, it's gorgeous, yeah. but it's from a bygone era, yeah. and it's not inherently going to be loved by all. It looks though, like a watch that your grandfather had. No, I'm not going to go that far. But because this is, I have both the vintage one and the re-edition. Yeah. They did a fabulous job with this re-edition. Like, it's near one-to-one. -one. Keep your eyes peeled for a Double Trouble episode where I get them side by side and we can talk about them. But tremendous value in the sub 2K range. Oh, I love it. It's just not inherently a timeless design in and no. of itself. No. I mean, in, the, in, in a way that I would say, like, the Speedmaster is timeless. Is a timeless design. The date just... Is standing timeless. the test of time yeah it was right. designed and then we're, we're done yeah and you could yes i mean this is uh it's a great looking watch though it's a gorgeous watch yeah, it's a great looking watch. okay sportiness i mean it's got to be up there it's up it's, it's up gotta there, be like a it's nine. up there you going nine I'm going nine nine baby i went ten ten um if you check it out, it is basically. Let me read the dial. I feel like the um, what's that one? The uh, Speedmaster. What's it called? The one, the the mission to Mars. Not the new one. Uh, too soon, the, baby. No, no, too no. Too soon. The uh, not not the plastic one, but the Alaska Project Alaska. Project Alaska. That's uh, a ten. <laughs> you don't have to go that crazy. You're certainly going to wear that big red bubble on it. Yeah. Uh, although I do love that Alaska watch. No, that's a ten. I don't know if I could. I can't go ten. I, I don't know what the water resistance is of it. I think that's just built for extreme temperature. I it's, don't know. I mean, it's water. <laughs> talking about this guy's over here talking about water. <laughs> it's got that huge red hockey puck. Yeah, well. Uh, this is a Chronomaster Aviator Sea Diver. Yeah. So basically covering all three. Yeah. Right? I went 10. Uh, I got the manual, the old one is manual, the re-edition came in manual and auto. Mm. The auto was too thick for me, I wanted manual, and mm. if I'm being honest, it's so similar to the vintage one, mm. and it's it's modern, so I can trust it. I think it's got a Salita in here, mm. and uh, you know, this will definitely suffice going into a pool. I wouldn't hesitate to wear this in a water environment. All right, hold your breath, everyone. Uh, dressy. Not dressy. <laughs> Probably the lowest score I've ever seen. Although you and I have only done a couple of these together. What'd you score it for on the dressy factor? Three. Three. 
crying out loud for me. Yeah. It does not fill the bill in the dressy category. I went five because uh, I have affection for it. I mean... And on the bracelet or leather? No. I love it on leather, though. I have it on the trophic You can strap. love it on leather, but it doesn't make it dressy. No, no point taken, sir. Yeah. Uh, we'll skip right through dressy. Going on to satisfied. Mm. How satisfied would you be if you own this? Would you be able to avoid buying other watches? You went... Mm. Little bump, drum roll. Four. Four? Yeah. I doubled you. I'm at eight. Eight? Yeah. It's a very satisfying watch. <sighs> You're at 21, I'm at 28. I'm not saying I wouldn't want other watches. I'm saying well, that... What's the point of the uh, satisfaction? Can I finish my sentence? Okay. <laughs> I'm so cold. Can we go home now? Go home. I am so cold right now. I didn't bring a jacket on this trip. Yeah. Uh, and it is getting late here on our Friday Eve. Uh, Ning. I went eight. It is very satisfying. If I was put into a position, I was like, oh yeah. This could be my one watch, although uh, I'm almost doing it a disservice with the timeless one because, yes, it's not timeless, but it's still gorgeous. And I think it's cool. No, I mean, you can you can be not timeless and still cool. That's true. I mean, it's it's just it's not timeless. It looks like it's I don't know. When did this originally come out? 70s? Earlier, I think. Earlier. I want to say late 60s, early 70s. Okay. It was famously worn by someone on a TV show with a dolphin. Mm, famously. I can't remember. Flipper. <laughs> it may have been on Flipper. Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, maybe it was on Flipper. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, it was one of the earlier chrono diver combo watches. I mean, you could wear this as a pilot, as a diver. I'm not saying it isn't functional. I think it's yeah. incredibly functional. Plus, it and has a little you, mm -hmm. like regatta timer ticker on that. No, I, there's a, there's does seem to be a lot of like value add going on. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell it to you, man. It's, it's a chronograph. Yeah. It's a diver. It's a, it's a yachting watch. <laughs> it's like, what are you? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it still works though. Yeah. Um, and every I don't know, just everything about it. It looks great. Yeah. Um, I, I do love it, and I would have it. And you did have it for like a week and a half. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't want to give it back. I, I know. I didn't get to do much bonding with this watch this trip. Yeah. I wanted to loan it to my bro so that he could enjoy it, and he enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, would you buy it, though? I'd buy it. You'd buy it? I'd buy it. Right. I wouldn't buy it immediately. Maybe I'll sell it to you at a premium. I can still buy them from the That is true. <laughs> you could still buy They also make a white dial one. And a couple variants with, uh, a I think couple, there's a two. There's like a weird cream one or something like that. Di uh, what, that's the white dial. There's, I think there's a two register version. It looks good. Yeah. It looks good. And they make a beautiful watch. I'm so glad they're back. Mm. Um, I mean, it somewhat diminishes the value of my vintage one. A little bit. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. But actually that one says chronograph oh. on it, not chronomaster. Huh. Which is... It was the first gen, yeah. so that's why it has a little bit greater value. Anywho, I'm freezing. I'm going home. All right. You're you at 21. I'm at 28, and that kind of kind of makes it a so-so just one watch. No, it's a great watch. Well, usually over 30. Oh, is, that is like, that's like my personal. It's not what I try to get. It's like to be a pretty great just one watch. It has to be over 30. So I'm leaving this one in the so-so category, but I still love it. Yeah, I love it. It's worth having. Worth having. Yeah. If you're thinking about getting one of these, don't hesitate. Go out and get it. Looks great on strap. It comes with a bracelet. I prefer it on brown leather, two stitch strap. Two stitch straps.com. Uh, yeah, you'll love it, even if it isn't your only watch. All right, we will catch you in the next one. Take care. Peace.